oh, well, 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 oh, what a day I've had today. Too much work for too little pay. What are the blues? Usually, blues music is acknowledged as originating from the spirituals, African chants, work songs, field hollers, rural fife and drum music, revivalist hymns, and country dance music. Specifically looking at the spirituals, they were slave songs typically sung in the south of the United States. The spirituals are Christian-based songs that derive from a combination of European hymns and African musical elements by slaves. There is a lot of debate on whether the blues are inspired by racism. Without a doubt, the spirituals and other early forms of African American music were inspired by the oppression and racism that slaves had to face every day. The blues started during the 19th century from the roots of African American work songs, spirituals, and European folk music. Like early forms of African American music, the blues provided a way for African Americans to express themselves. Fruitland Jackson, an esteemed blues musician that still records and performs today, described how the blues were formed by saying, The social conditions after Reconstruction, the Great Migration, and throughout the Civil Rights Movement is how the blues have been shaped and formed. From the early days when blacks were able to sing about their troubles locally, and later when they were able to have their music published for the whole world to hear about the sorrow and good times in their lives of American blacks. True freedom, justice, and equality in our society would have eliminated a major portion of social repression and oppression that created social ills that led to blues music as a form of personal self-expression. Blues present a vast array of themes. Some common themes in blues music are love, work, hardships, and relationships. Angela Davis, an American political activist, specifically looked at the history of queer culture, which is at the center of the blues. After emancipation, differentiation in sexuality and expression of sexuality emerged. For the first time in the US, African Americans had a part in the decision of their sexual encounters with partners. Davis stated, Themes of individual sexual love rarely appear in the musical forms produced during slavery. Whatever the reasons for this, and it may be, have been due to the slave system's economic management of procreation. Many popular blues musicians are part of the LGBTQ community. This includes musicians like Ma Rainey, Frankie Jackson, Bessie Smith, Billie Holiday, Billy Strayhorn, Langston Hughes, Lucille Bogan, and many, many more. Did racism in the United States affect the development of blues? After looking at the origin of the blues, the spirituals, and other forms of early African American songs, all of them were based around the oppression and hardships they faced every day. The songs were the building blocks of the blues. Undeniably, the blues have changed throughout the years and from the transition of enslavement to emancipation, but the roots of the blues were from racism. Racism did affect the development of the blues, and it still leaves remnants in the lives of Americans and other people all over the world. Racism is not the only effect and influencer of the meaning in different people's composition of their music, but racism affected the development of the blues genre as a whole. Bye.